Hey guys, um, so this has been a long awaited video. I know I've been taking forever. I'm finally caught up on work so that I am able to catch up on my back order of patterns that I have. <laughs> so without further ado, we have Vivi who is pulling down his hat. At least that's how I have positioned him. You of course can choose not to have him pulling down his hat but instead of having his arms at his side. Um, this video is going to be a little bit different than my other videos. Uh, it's going to be more like my Timo video where instead of showing the entire doll process, I just show the harder parts and uh, have you guys work through the rest of the pattern on your own. Link down below in case you're interested. Um, so this video is going to show you how to do the feet because working around a chain is a little tough for some people. Um, it's going to show you the pants because changing colors is tough for some people. And the other part that we show will be the belt buckle and then the arms on how to get the cuff and the lining of the cuff just right. But other than that, guys, that is all that this video has. I hope you like it. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Um, I am now streaming on Twitch, random <laughs> announcement. Uh, so if you're interested in following me on Twitch and watching me crochet. I in fact finished this VB on stream among many other dolls that I do. So if you have any questions or just want to kind of watch the process, that's um, the best place to get a hold of me as far as when I'm streaming. I haven't set a very good schedule. As I said, I've, I'm busy with work, so it's basically whenever I have time. But uh, you can follow me on Twitch and then you'll be able, you'll be alerted to when I'm live. And if you can't watch me live, you can always watch my VODs. So, without further ado, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this video. Again, let me know what you think down below. Like, share, favorite. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I'm not going to put anything up here. It's just me making hand movements. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Bye. <laughs> We're going to start with the legs. Uh, you're going to make two of them with brown yarn. Row one is going to be a chain eight, one increase for a single crochet, one half double crochet, and seven double crochets in the last chain. going to work down the opposite side of the chain, one half double crochet, four single crochet, and one increase at the end. Don't join, we're going to continue this in rounds. Row two, two increases, seven single crochet, three increases, eight single crochet, and one increase.
we're going to work in the back loops for this row only. 7 single crochet, 1 half double crochet, 11 double crochet, 1 half double crochet, 7 single crochet. For row four, one single crochet, one decrease. Repeat this combination nine times. You'll have 18 stitches at the end. For row five, five single crochet, five decreases, three single crochet, you'll have 13 at the end. You'll continue on for rows 6 through 8, 13 single crochet. For the pants, um, you're going to make two. You'll start with white yarn and we're, we're going to be doing several color changes with teal along the way. So the first step, uh, chain 19, 18 single crochet with white yarn. Now that we have our base, we're going to chain one and turn, we're going to do one single crochet in white, and we're going to change colors to teal throughout this process. So one single crochet in white, the next three single crochet in teal, then we're going to switch to white for three, back to teal for three, white for three, back to teal for three, and then we're going to finish it off with white for two single crochet. You never changed colors before which you the easiest way to do it is do a single crochet as usual you'll have the two um, loops on your hook and instead of pulling through with white you're going to pull through with the color that you're changing to as you can see
we want to keep this side clean. So when we're changing colors on this next side, so we have white for two single crochet. You're going to pull the white close down and hold it with your thumb and that's how you'll change colors and that's how you'll keep the, uh, the yarn from showing on the other side. Just by pulling it down and hiding it as you're going. So for this row we started with white for two single crochet. We're going to change color to teal for three, change color to white for three, change color to teal for three, change color to white to for three, change color to teal for three, and then we're going to finish it off with white at one single crochet. And you'll just continue to follow the pattern. Be careful, it is very easy for you to tangle your yarn. So try to keep your both colors as separate as possible. As you can see, we'll leave that side completely clear, and the other side has all the change colors on it. So once you have two of them, you're going to attach them both to, uh, pieces to the doll, one on each side, and rows seven through 11 are for the legs in particular. That's with the first one, and as you can see, the second one is the exact same way on that side. You're going to attach the leg to itself, just like you did the first, and then sew them both together at the top. For the belt, um, you're going to make a C with a chain 10 piece in gray. So, you, And you want to make sure you hide the ends underneath the belt itself to give it more of a buckled look. So make a C, like shown. hide the end underneath like that. Make sure you're holding the shape all the way through. With the chain two piece, you're just going to place it in the middle of the seat. hands and arms we're going to make two. Uh, this piece consists of three completely separate pieces. So again like the feet you're going to work a chain and then you're going to work opposite side of the chain. So with brown yarn uh, your first step is chain seven, five single crochet and then you're going to do three single crochet in the last stitch. You're going to continue around the back side of the chain for five single crochet. Count your chain or count your stitches. Um, you'll have 13 at the end of this. Don't join. We're going to continue in rounds. So for rows two through five, continue in rounds for 13 single crochet. Row 
rows 6 through 13, we're going to change our color to the blue and continue in rounds for 13 sing with 13 single crochet. Once that's completely finished, um, you have it stuffed and you've made your cuff with the little dip at the end, we're going to embroider a line using slip stitches around the top of the end of the cuff. Um, the way you do that is you make a slip stitch, like so, and you slip stitch all around that top line. And it's very easy to do, you have holes that line it up perfectly for you. All you have to do is make sure that you slip stitch. You're going to attach the cuff between rows 4 and 5. You'll essentially be covering up the color change that we did. And then you'll attach the thumbs afterwards. Make sure you attach the thumbs correctly. You don't want to have two right hands. And that's it, guys. We have our finished baby pulling down his hat if you prefer it the way I do. I think he's super adorable. My next pattern will be for Sackdoll. It's going to be Alex Straza from World of Warcraft, so stay tuned for that.